it's apple pie day in the secret kitchen, only we're not making apple pie. We're taking all the elements of apple pie and we're turning them into bars. And um, it's got all the elements of apple pie though. It's really nice. Well, hang on because I'm gonna make this for you right now. to Secret Kitchens of New Jersey. You know, it's kind of apple season, it's the fall. And actually my family's coming for dinner and normally I would make an apple pie, but I decided to try something different. I'm gonna make really um, like an apple, apple pie bars and I'm gonna make it in a large 13 by nine pan. My thought is then I'll be able to just take them and cut them up into nice bars. So I think it's gonna be delicious. So. I have about four or five, I already forgot, but all your info down in the description. These are Honeycrisp apples, which is a personal favorite for me. And you can use Granny Smith. I mean, honestly, you can use whatever apples you want. And what I've done here, as you can see, I've diced them up small. And I'm going to do one more. And how many apples you need is really, you know, in some ways it's going to be dependent on, uh, well, how much filling you want in your apple pie. And I like a lot. I am skinning these apples. A lot of times I would leave the skin on, but for this I want to, I do want to get the skin off. Although I'm not worried if there's a little bit of skin left, okay? And then, I'll show you, I'm just cutting them like so. Get these in here. I have about a half a lemon that I squeezed over these apples. In my mind, the lemon does two things. First of all, I love the lemony flavor, but the lemon also prevents the apples from getting brown while they're sitting around. But I do love them for the flavor. So like I said, about a half, I have about a half of a large lemon. My oven is preheating to 350. And you know what? If you have extra apples left over, no big deal. You'll find, certainly find another way to use them, even if you just wind up snacking on them. All right, so here's my apples. Let me give them a good stir with all this lemon juice. And what we're going to do with the apples I have um, half a cup of brown sugar. I mean, I love brown sugar and apples. And I've got some, actually, because I had some apple pie, uh, apple pie um, spice, I had it in my pantry. So I thought, well, let's use it. And uh, I am going to use some cinnamon. I've got a lot of cinnamon here. Here's like a good, nice, good teaspoon of it. If you have some other other spices you want to add, feel free. And I am going to add some cornstarch. This is a tablespoon of cornstarch because, you know, apples do release a lot of liquid and I want it to form, you know, kind of like my apple gravy, for lack of a better way to phrase it. All right, let me get a wooden spoon. I'm going to give this a good stir, get this all mixed up. All right, that looks good to me. All right, so everything is all incorporated. It smells good already. All right, so you know what? Now, let me just say, if you want to add some nuts or raisins or something like that to your apple mixture, feel free. Now, we're making a kind of a crumble crust. Um, it's not a conventional crust. I have three cups of all-purpose flour, and uh, I'm going to add, oh, you know, I'm going to add a little bit of salt in here. By the way, that reminds me, I want to add a little bit of salt to my apples. Okay, and I've got, um, I've got some sugar here. I've got a half a cup of sugar in the crust. I've got a half brown, quarter cup brown, a quarter cup white. Because I just feel like with apples, you need, you need brown sugar. Now I've got two sticks of butter. Show the camera. That, you know, this is not a big deal. I, I just took the cold, ice cold butter out of the fridge. I cut it up into like quarter inch cubes. It's 
nice and cold. I'm using my, um, my food processor to do this. Of course, you can use a fork, you can use a pastry cutter, but I'm going to take a shortcut and use my, um, my uh, food processor. Ah, come on, butter, let's get you out. All right, and we're looking for like a, um, a texture of coarse sand. I just think the food processor makes short work of it. All right, I forgot to mention while I was pulsing this, I added one beaten egg that I put the vanilla in. I meant to show you that on camera. Meanwhile, of course, I have flour all over the secret kitchen, but you'll be neater than me. So give me another moment to finish pulsing this and the crumble, the dough will all come together, okay? Okay, so off camera, I, I took the um, I took the crumb mixture out of the um, food processor because, frankly, flour was flying all over the place. It's everywhere. We have major cleanup to do in the secret kitchen, and I just put all the crumbs in a bowl, as you can see. And I just took my gloved hand, and I'm just kind of smushing it all together. It forms like a nice like a nice kind of a dough. This crumble. Okay, so the next step, and I'm just going to keep the glove on so because I didn't take off my jewelry. Okay, so here's what we do. I have my 13 by 9 pan. I lined it with parchment because, you know, I always say if you're not using parchment, I want to be able to get this out of there in one piece. So I like the, having the parchment. So we're going to use about, I'm going to say like about two-thirds of this in the bottom. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball this and get this in here and I'll show you what we're going to do. This dough smells so good. I just want to tell you that. All right, so what I'm doing is I'm just going to probably need two hands here. I'm just pressing the dough into place just on the bottom. Doesn't have to really go up the sides. Okay, I did it. So here's the crumble filling the bottom of the pan. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect because, again, you're not going to see any of this. All right, we're going to take our apples, and the apples are going to go, here, let me move this. The apples are going to go right on top of this. All right, this looks great. And, of course, we make the apples fairly small in size because you want to be able to just take a bite out of it. So we want it to be easy and convenient for the people that are going to be eating it. All right, so the last thing we have to do is we have the rest of this crumble. And this, I'm just going to kind of break up and put it all over the top. Okay, how does that look? Pretty good, right? So we've got the crust, about two-thirds of the crust. We've got the beautiful apples, and then we've got the extra crumble all across the top. This is going into a 350 oven. Let's see, I have my notes here. It's probably going to be in the oven, I don't know, um, might be as much as 40, 45 minutes. Again, everyone's oven is different. I'm going to check it at 40 minutes and see how it's doing, and then we probably have to let it cool for a minute, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So in the oven right now. Okay, my apple bars are done. They were in the oven about, it was about 45 minutes till they were done. Honestly, it's still very warm. I can't pull this out yet. It's way too hot, but I just want you to see what it looks like. So I cut a piece out for myself. It's got a nice thin crust. Uh, the apples are done. They still have a little bit of a bite to them. Got some of the, um, the crumble on the top. And I put some powdered sugar. You could also make some icing with, um, you know, with the powdered sugar, maybe a little bit of milk, a little lemon juice, a little maple syrup, whatever you want. I just sprinkled it with a little snow. And I would do, the, you know, I'll do the same on this too because I just think it looks good. So once this is cool, it will be very easy to cut up into bars and serve. I'm actually going to freeze some of this. I think it's going to freeze beautifully. The apples, I like the fact that mm, they're super flavorful. And they still have a little bit of a bite to them. They're not completely mush. A really nice crust here. Mm, it's good. It really is good. So... If you like apple pie, and who doesn't, 
Oh, all this needs is a scoop of vanilla ice cream. Ah, too bad I don't have any. If you like apple pie, this is just kind of a, a version of apple pie with a different kind of a crust. And if you're uh, serving a crowd, this will be very easy to just take out and serve. So listen, make this. It's delicious. It's apple season after all. Well, thanks for watching Secret Kitchens of New Jersey. Please like and subscribe. You keep me inspired, and I appreciate that. Meanwhile, get in the kitchen and cook. Apple season. It's big. It is delicious.